What's up, what's up? I have this new GoPro Hero 7. We're going to unpack this. And I also have not much have an idea about this. So Yana is going to help me unpack this. Mm -hmm. She is my side chick slash bodyguard. Do you have a side chick? No. <laughs> huh? Side chick? Never mind. So, Yana, can you help me? Yeah. So, they say that uh, you don't need this gimbal anymore because it has its own uh, stabilizer. And I also have a GoPro Hero 4 last time, but it was broken when I was in Brazil. So, there's a small scratch here. Oh, just in time to buy a new GoPro Hero 7. <laughs> I don't know how to open this. Let me see. I don't know too. It's new. It's a uh, 600 Singapore dollar. And it's quite difficult to... to it's limited stuff. And this Hey, uh, hey, what's up, hey? Hmm? Carter! Hmm? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm oh, sorry, let me see. <laughs> Actually, it's live. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. What I like about this is, yeah, they, they, there's already a stabilizer. This is my favorite part when I film. I like to. Uh, I don't. I don't really like to use this because it's very bulky and I need to turn it on off. So if I just use this, it's quite handy. Mm -hmm. yeah, take a look. In the label, they, they say it's slow motion eight times, and the rest I don't really care. It's, I like that you don't have to use this one. Yeah. Now I'm I'm unboxing. We have a free cable mm -hmm. uh, battery. Where you can stick on. And yeah. I will try this now because actually I have a little bit idea about this. Oh, okay. How to? Oh, it's a different type of battery. Mm -hmm. That means I cannot use the old one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's guys. Sorry, guys. You cannot use your old battery. Huh. Slow mo. Yeah, that's my favorite part. The slow mo, the stabilizer, and the hyper smooth. I think the hyper smooth. You know the. What does it mean? It's like a hi hyper lapse, where you can. Uh, you know, time lapse. Time lapse. Mm. So it's like time lapse and then but you're walking. Okay. You don't need to like put put the camera in a stationary. Mm -hmm. You can just uh, walk and film. Okay. Then it's then it looks like a hyperlapse. So we're going to test it later. And uh, 
and then we will share you share with you uh, how it works. Okay. This is my old Hero 4. I bought it four years ago, and then the, the maximum slow motion for this is I usually use 60 frames per second. They don't have they have 120 per per second, but that quality will go lower. So for this, I think it's eight times. So you can really film a slow mo. So I'm pretty excited to use this and test it. <laughs> That's it, guys, and uh, we will see you later. See you later. <laughs> okay, more sexy pose. More sexy pose. <laughs> Don't smile. Where are you smiling? Smile. Serious face. Oh, okay. I find smiling sexy. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes. Good yeah. to know. Okay, ready, ready, serious face, serious face, ready, one, two. Okay, a funny face. Funny face. Now it's a funny, funny. face. I'm going to again. I thought I change. So I'm going to test my GoPro right now and see how it looks like during the night. If you look closely to the video, you can see that the video is a bit blurry and the lights is bouncing up and down when I try to rotate my camera you will see a slight pause and camera will adjust again and again even the time warp is a bit blurry it's because the, there's a little amount of light entering to your camera When I try to use the 240 frames per second, it appears that there's an error. I've tried many times to fix it, but I end up using 120 frames per second. So to summarize everything, I really love the stabilizer. The audio, they improve really well. And the uh, time warps. It helped me to add new effects. And during at night, I re highly recommend you to use uh, gimbal. As you can see in the earlier in the earlier video, yeah. it's really blurry and and there's a need for improvement. Mm -hmm. Slow motion. I cannot film the 240 frames per uh, per second. Mm -hmm. I only can. Uh, um, record 120 frames per second I don't know what's the problem with this uh, thing maybe it's a program issue the software issue so I hope GoPro can improve this thing and uh, what do you think what do you like about this new GoPro yourself? yeah I like the stabilizer especially during the day because it's very steady you don't need to carry the gimbal if you go for a trip like to the mountains or something so mm -hmm. just it's really light small easy to carry but at night i think it should improve because yeah. you need gimbal yeah you still need to use it mm -hmm. so that's about it guys 
I hope our video help you decide whether you need the GoPro Hero 7 and if you need more about the GoPro Hero 7 you just let me know okay Peace. thank you Peace.